Hello my name is Perlinda, welcome to the vibe. If you think with more emotion than logic, leave now. Now let's begin. <laughs> Una cosa que yo te daré. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. You have been telling men for years that you don't want them, that you don't need them, that they don't meet your standards, that they don't treat you right, that you can pay for your own hair, you can pay for your own nails, you can afford your own home, you can afford your own car. Men are good for nothing. You're strong, you're independent. But then you get mad when these men go to another country to actually find a woman that has the qualities that they are looking for in a wife. Make it make sense. And I also want to talk about why this mindset that so many Western women have is actually extremely problematic. Because not only are you putting down the men who are going overseas with pure intentions, you're also putting down the woman from these other countries solely off of the fact that they were not brought up in a Western culture because you're calling them uneducated, you're calling them poor, you're calling them weak, you're calling them vulnerable. You're creating a superiority complex where you are at the top and women from all these other countries are at the bottom. Now, let me tell you something. If you were really superior, the men would not be leaving and you would not be single. Hey, hello, how are you? Maria is nice. It's okay. People tell me it's not that good, but thank you. Is this your store? No, it's my house. Oh, this is your house? This is your house. Yeah. It's a house and a store at the same time. Oh, okay. What do you do for work? I don't have work. I'm still studying uh, third year college. What do you want to do when you get older? I want to bridge. You want to bridge? Teach. Teach? Oh, you will teach in school. No, I want to be rich. Reach? Yeah. What's reach? I don't know what reach. What is reach? You have a lot of money. Oh, you said you want to be rich. Yeah. Oh, okay. She wants to be rich. How old are you? 20. 20. Oh, okay. That's nice. Well, I wish you good luck. I know you will be rich one day. I could see the determination in her eyes. Take care. For the women who are upset with the passport bros, so there's two ways you can handle life, right? You can either be bitter and angry at the people who have the things that you want, or you can learn from them and learn how you can obtain it for yourself. Personally, I prefer to go for option two because option one just leaves you bitter and filled with resentment, but your situation doesn't change. Whereas at least with option two, you have a chance of actually changing your situation. If you don't like your outcomes, change your behavior. You can shame these men as much as you want. You can put down these women and put down their home countries as much as you want, you're still going to be single. It's not gonna make you any more desirable to these men. A smart woman would learn a thing or two from these women. A less smart woman would choose to call them uneducated, desperate for opportunities, poverty stricken. But regardless of all of these things that you think they are, they're still able to get the men that don't want you. So ah yes, the basic logic it seems that females from other countries can understand that ah, if the food was so good in a restaurant, you'd come back, right? If the western female was so great, we would deal with them, right? Basic logic. <laughs> That the Western female does, does not comprehend at all. They are not great. They are not amazing. At least to men. Now, if they themselves think they're great and they're amazing, that's a, cool. Right? But see, female nature is they their whole lives are dependent on what other people think about themselves. Okay? I think about them. Okay? If you're great, cool. You believe you're great. We just don't think you're great. But go, go in life and think you're great. But see, they need us to feel that they are great. A man wants a traditional, submissive, feminine female. I see females now, man, okay, in the West, and even how they walk, like, none of it's feminine, man. They really walk like men, okay? They're not shaking hips, they're not, like nothing. It is just straight walking like a man. They so much wanna be us, and they never can. But they could be the ultimate feminine female, because men cannot be that 
go where you are appreciated gentlemen you do not stay and allow mistreatment okay you seen that one pastor bro a fee fell feeding him he probably paid for the food okay you need some respect for paying for the food okay and she not only just fed him with the food he probably bought but did it with a damn smile on her face that is what a man wants in his life a man doesn't want a really an equal in his life from a female what he wants is a female that does her traditional roles and with her doing her traditional roles she is equal in the relationship all right let's continue how do you get a man's attention you know, we've been 10 days without running water here. Do people stress when water goes out in the Philippines? No. Because they're working on the water lines up on the road. I'll show y'all what's going on and why we don't have water. But it's no problem because there's always a flow even when there isn't a flow. It takes about three, four minutes for them to fill up, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We just keep filling. We just keep filling. Filling and filling. Even without water, we can still do that and this. Now you know, back in America, if your water was out for a day, you'd be ranting and screaming off the highest mountain you possibly could to get everybody to hear it, that you're out of water. But here, it's no big deal. So there you have it. Do we stress over it here? Nah. It's no big deal. You make do. It's simple. Don't stress over it. There's plenty other ways to get by. That's what I love about being here. There's always another way. Message to the high school girls, college girls. God, I hope it's not the junior high girls. Please don't listen to this ratchet, horrible uh, poverty project music that's what this is i don't know who listens to female rappers i don't know if there's any good female rappers but i can't imagine a girl in high school even knowing these lyrics um if your aspiration is to live in the projects be on welfare and be a baby mama this is your music but if you don't want that quality of life do not listen to this i mean just think of the lyrics the whole song is just sexualizing women it means you are nothing but meat um, I'm sorry, that's not what God designed women to be, um, but the marketing in the media is so effective. Um, if you are the type of girl that listens to this, you're going to attract nothing but low income, low budget, low effort type of men that don't know how to lead a family. And God bless these men, they don't know any better. Your husband give you money every time. Maybe your husband list. Yes, he give me money every time, but he not very very rich because he know that go to the market or cooking need to use money. You know, I cannot grow the pond for you. You know, when I go to the market, ah, I need to uh pay money. So I cannot grow the vegetable myself and then egg I also need to pay money I cannot like give birth the egg poop 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 the egg for you like that you know so do you do you go up free for soya milk no they give you nasi lemak for free no they give you chicken rice for free no so you need to buy yeah also need to use money right yeah he need <sighs> gentlemen <laughs> you heard her response okay yes a husband gives her wife money oh my goodness shocker 
men are providers okay men don't have a problem literally providing okay we don't want to do the cooking and cleaning and being with babies and stuff like that you're supposed to females are supposed to do that okay men have no problem providing but it the the problem with the western female is they want a million dollar provide and not because they're going to invest it, create a, a, a multi-million dollar company, invent something new, help us get to space. No, they literally just want a million dollars for no game plan for a million dollars. Just so, oh, he has a million dollars. Because it's a status thing, man. It's not a strategy thing, man. Females don't know how to save money, man, typically. Unless they're in a culture where that's pretty much promoted. But if you default position that an uncultured female, they don't save money, man. Females are the main spenders in every single economy. Okay? It is always better to get a female that just isn't born in, like, rich areas. All right? It's just the truth, man. Because... Females, their minds is just this competition thing. And see, men, when we have money, we don't just compete with everybody. Like, unless it's, like, in our business field. But outside of, like, when we're working and things like that, man, like, we just enjoy life. We appreciate everybody that is the construction workers and things like that. You need every position for a functioning society. My only problem is when men sit here and make excuses that they cannot be successful when they can. But you need... You need, you appreciate, and what makes a civilization and makes where successful people can even be successful is the people that do those jobs, that the truck drivers and things like that. Without those jobs, people can't be successful, okay? But it, like, it's how much money with the whole fee fail thing. As long as that man is can provide and is a man and leads, a fee fail needs to be happy and content. Okay, it's not this whole well. See, men, again, men don't go like, all right, I'm making, I generate a hundred thousand a year, so now like I'm not talking to Bill because he makes this. like, man, we don't do that. That's okay, <laughs> we'll be best friends with Bill because he's a good person. Females, when they work, man, when they get money. It's always this competition now. Like it's why females are going like females in other countries. They're just poor. They just eat roaches because it's always competition. Okay, they don't care about other people. They don't go, okay, they're poor. Let me help them. Let me go to those countries and help them. No, they just judge them and point and laugh. Wait, right? But men, we could have always done that to females. They couldn't have survived in the wild by but without us. Right? We could have pointed and laughed. But we didn't do that. Because men are the actual good creatures. Alright? It is always best to get a FIFA that just does not have that much because what does that mean when someone doesn't have that much typically that they appreciate what they get. And that's why you don't go and just give them a bunch of money just because you can. You have to understand the currency difference and and what is typical how they spend in their countries and kind of move along there probably a little more but don't go overboard and stuff like that because she probably won't appreciate it. And then you heard that one FIFA talking about Responding to that song, man, like, like, I don't know what's going on in the West anymore. <laughs> but like, I'm gonna be honest, like, and that female is very popular now, and, and you want, and, and she really, she really exemplifies where Western females are now because she's very popular now. Okay, she's meeting all type of people, all type of stuff. You know, Ratchet H. You know, something about her hole between her legs is in that song and all type of stuff. Like, basically, just bragging like she sleeps around with everyone. You know, a lot of different dudes, you know, sleeping with her, and who cares? <laughs> like, you know, she's, you know, from a bad area, bragging about the bad. It's just terrible. And see, females are getting attracted to it. But yeah, we don't care about anything. No values, no more. Sleep with everyone. Like, it, it, like, it really is just disgusting. And that same FIFA goes, why do men treat me like I'm garbage? Why do men just use me like meat? You know, it's, it's just zero logic. I think it just comes a time in civilizations where, like, Sometimes things just go horribly wrong, especially when you get away from your traditional values. I think that's how um, the Trojan army fell as well, too. You know, they liberated their females and they just got away from what built, you know, that civilization too much, man. You know, they got too far away from traditional values, you know. And then, you know, you heard how those females said how they'll approach a man and talk to him. You can just tell they're very feminine. You know, they know how to be feminine that's what we want okay we don't want a species that keeps trying to be us but they're not us so now you're just this like you're you're a deformed man and a deformed female you know 
Uh, it's just utterly disgusting. And then that one guy. Now I don't know about you know the running water thing, not having the running water. Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm not with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm not with that. that. That's a big problem. I get the point he's saying though. Like you know they appreciate things more and stuff like that. But uh, no, I definitely need to be in an area where there's running water. Um, I seen a lot of ants that was you know kind of very close to the homes and stuff like that too. And uh, no, no running water and uh. In the bathrooms? And I think you said, you know, that happens a decent amount. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'm with that. I got to be in a, 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 an area where things are functioning. Um, but, I, you know, I do. So, you know, there is that balance. There is that balance of, you know, traditions and appreciating. But also, like, I need, like, I have to, have, like, life is, <laughs> life is short. And time, time is, uh, you can't get time back. Uh, I need things in functioning order. Uh, I definitely do need that. But uh, at least water. Water, you know, no bugs. You know, things are sturdy and stable. Um, because, we, we know, we do have that Western mentality where, like, something's broke. Oh, this is terrible. Call the people, get it fixed immediately. And I think, and, and you know, that's the upside and downsides, you know, of, you know, any civilization, like, and the West, we're so like, get it done. Uh, no excuses for things being bad. This was bad. Take it back to the store. Get your money back. Um, you know, it, anything, man. AC is out, immediately fixed. Something wrong with the car, immediately fixed. But, you know, we've lost. We used to have the perfect balance. But we've lost, like, okay, traditional values, what a female should be. You know, traditional values, what a man should be. We've, like, lost that, you know, children shouldn't change their genders. <sighs> At damn three years old, like what the hell, <laughs> you know. But you know, um, and then you know, from like that example, you know, great traditional values. But like, we need running water. You know, we need running water. We need. We don't need bugs in the area. We need great electricity. We need great internet. Um, so you need that balance, and that's the difficulties of life. Is always keeping that balance and making sure that you are balanced. But I don't know. Maybe you, some of you guys would be okay with that. But if I'm taking a guess, I don't think a lot of people would be okay with like uh, some internet problems, a lot of internet problems, and like not running water. That is a big, a big, um, a big deal. All right. So um, yeah, gentlemen, just wanted to show you guys that of um, you know, FIFA is just. You know, appreciate, you know, as she said, like, you know, her husband isn't rich. You know, he, you, he, you know, provides, but he isn't rich. And that's all a man wants. A man doesn't want someone who leaves him if he loses his job. You know, it's very hilarious. Fifos cannot comprehend something as small as that. Okay. Job, you know, losing a job. I, a man should get a job again, obviously. But going through hard times, the Fifos there. That's true friendship. That's true love. Western FIFA doesn't agree with that anymore. That's fine. Be happy by yourselves or go find that man who isn't real and in your dreams who is okay with he loses his job you leave. Is okay with you then. You're not bringing virginity, which is traditional and cooking and cleaning. That's slavery to you. Uh, and you know, he'll tolerate you sleeping around with everybody and not being traditional. Go and find that. Right? But don't be mad at other people being happy. But... Of course they will because they know that no one will pick them if men are picking females that are traditional. All right. So let me know what you guys think down below about all of that. Everyone support. Join the membership next to the subscribe button and or support on the cash app and all my social links down below. All right. See you guys later. Peace. Come me the snowman. Ice cold with the hose man. Need pussy no relation Then send them back to their boyfriends Come me the snowman Ice cold with the hose man Need pussy no relation Then send them back to their boyfriends Leave her chilly without jackets, I'm the snowman Caught a squad doing trains, we weren't slaves